Would you ever like give a song to another artist? I definitely would. There's like a song on this album actually that I did write for somebody else that I ended up keeping. Really? And at first I didn't like it. I was like, I don't really want this. But then I was like, maybe I'll keep it. And then I ended up keeping it. But um, who knows? Yeah, maybe. Who's, I, who's it written for? <laughs> um, I was writing it for like, just like a, it's like a kind of like a, a dancey like pop song. And I was working with um, Doja Cat or a producer who works with Doja Cat. And so I was like, I'm going to write like a version of like a Doja Cat song or something. Um, and obviously, like, she writes her own music, so she wouldn't have taken the song anyway. But I was like, I'm going to write a song for Doja Cat. And so I, I did. Um, and then it just ended up being kind of fun. And I was like, okay, maybe I'll keep it. And then we ended up changing the production completely to sound like a song of mine or something that I would do. Because originally it was like, it sounded like nothing, like something. It sounded nothing like something I would do. Um, but now now it, it fits the whole vibe. It just felt like a fun thing to add. But it, it was not for me. I was like, I'll just give it to, like, a, a pop star or something. But I ended up keeping it. Well, interesting, like, to put that kind of frame of reference in your head while creating something. Because it does give you some sort of North Star while also injecting your own experience and life and, you know, story into it. Yeah. And I never really do that. That was, like, one of the few times that I've, like, written a song with, like, someone else in mind. Or just, like, even if you know it's not going to go to them. Like, I knew, obviously, you know... Doja Cat's not gonna <laughs> take a song of mine. She's an incredible writer, but just to have like a pillar of like, ooh, le- like what would like this person sing, or like how would this person sing it? And I don't know. Just working from that place was kind of fun and different. And I, I don't really do that a ton, but it was kind of cool. Also, a sign of a great record that can be dressed in so many different production styles and still be great. Yeah, it's interesting. Like it changed so much from like its original state to now. It's like it sounds. It's still, like, the essence is the same, but it's just, it's so crazy how, like, the the bed you put underneath a song can, like, really just change everything about it. Or, like, change the whole energy of it. It's weird. 